Hi, my name is Iman Bilal, and I'm going to be presenting our work analyzing ad exposure and content in child-oriented videos on YouTube. This is research done at LUMS with my wonderful co-authors. The main takeaway of our work is that the safety of a child's YouTube experience is shaped significantly by where they view from, given the platform's weak policy enforcement. Today, the YouTube platform is a predominant choice for video and entertainment streaming, particularly for children. According to a 2020 survey by the Pew Research Center, 81% of US parents say their child watches YouTube regularly. At the same time, YouTube has also consistently marketed itself as a top platform for children entertainment. With children being a major user base for the app, a history of litigation surrounds the topic of child safe advertising, with YouTube paying millions of dollars in violation of regional policies like the COPPA in the US. In response, YouTube has claimed strong policy measures like the enforcement of a made-for-kids label on child-oriented videos and the prohibition of age-inappropriate advertising on child-oriented content. However, continued litigation and the presence of a host of unlabeled child-oriented content means this remains an unsolved problem. Through our research, we conduct the first measurement study that investigates the role that external structures like policy play in ad exposure and patterns on child-oriented videos, both labeled and unlabeled, as well as the efficacy of YouTube's policies in enforcing appropriate advertising. Simply put, across all regions and all content types, we want to understand how much ad content children are exposed to, what proportion of these are relevant and age-appropriate, and how much of this content is in violation of YouTube's publicly stated policies. Our data set comprises 1,500 highly viewed child-oriented videos, which are watched across five high policy and five low policy regions, resulting in a total of over 24,000 ads, which are quantitatively analyzed, of which 3,000 are annotated to be assessed for their relevance and age appropriateness. Our findings reveal that there is widespread non-compliance to YouTube's ad limits, raising concern about the factors that YouTube considers in its ad choices. At the same time, there is an 8x increase in age-inappropriate advertising from high policy to low policy regions, invoking questions about the platform's responsibility to offer a uniformly safe experience for all users. You can expect the full presentation to cover the methodology of our work, our complete experimental results, and policy and implementation recommendations for all stakeholders. We hope that through this research, we have taken the first step to answering critical questions about child safety online. Thank you so much for your time.